Hello, I will show you some new features of my last uh, packages Mathematica for TextMax. So I am starting a Mathematica session and I need some packages. So one of the more interesting features in this last package is, is the possibility to import uh, pictures from GeoGebra. That is why I am now starting a GeoGebra session. And uh, we will start with something very basic, very simple. For example, by introducing some friends like that. So I save. I hope to find uh, the right folder for that, which is named, yes, it is here, Jebra TextMax, and uh, we'll name this file demo1. Okay, so to import it, it's very simple, you just consider it is a new one, so it is Jebra import new, and that is the result. We can compare, we have A, B, C, D, the same configuration. Now we will continue, for example, let us introduce line A, B, a line, uh, let's say A, D, a line D, E, and uh, an intersection, for example, uh, between these two, and, oh, it seems to be very close to the origin, and, uh, one circle by this center F by C. Okay. Now again I save it with the same name. You can notice that the first file with name Timo1 disappeared from Jebra Textmax folder. I can explain the reason later. Okay, now I don't need this window. Now I import again the new Okay, new result, and you can compare, seems to be correct. Oh no, we can continue, we can, uh, for example, introduce a polygon, a Why not? Okay, for example, let's set this one. I save it again. Of course, we can do that in one step only. It's no use to process by, by steps, it's just to show. Okay. And now what uh, what we can do is, for example, to to fill it with some colors. For example, like that. Um, we can choose another color for the circle. Okay. We can also modify the properties of the lines. Uh, it's very like that, for example. Okay. And we can adjust the positions um, of the labels. If, for example, we don't like this A here. Okay. So if we compare with the original picture, which makes sense. 
Something else we can do is to ask uh, data about uh, this picture. So, for example, I can ask uh, all the elements, the list of contents of all the elements of this last uh, picture. So, we can see, if you remember, we had uh, A, B, C, D, F. We have a, a closed polygon by E, A, B. True means if we show it or not. Uh, we don't have an open uh, polygonal curve. We don't have any segment here. We don't have any vector, but we can, of course, we could have. Uh, we have three straight lines. We have a conic, because we have a circle that is um, the matrix uh, associated to this circle. That is the equation of the circle. Uh, we don't use any other function, neither we don't use integrals. Okay, now I will show you how to import a picture from GeoGebra from a file who had been already introduced once earlier. So not a new one, like we just saw, but um, an older one. So for that, we use the function catalog. You can find it on the menu. And that gives a list of all the XML files extracted from uh, GeoGebra files. So here we have 37 uh, files I already play a bit with. Uh, which one to open? We can open, for example, number 23, which looks um, that's it, an interesting one. Uh, so I can. Uh, I can import it either using its name, it looks a bit boring, or using the number on the, on the list, on the catalog. So let's do that, number 23. So import not using um, the name, but using the number on the catalog. 23. That can take some, some time, because it is uh, quite a sophisticated uh, file. Ah, here it is. So it seems to have a problem uh, of frame, but we can just use the crop uh, function from TextMax, and it is okay. Uh, of course, we, if we don't want these uh, labels, we can erase them. But we can also use some parameters to avoid all the labels and all the vertices. Uh, to see these parameters from the menu, We can see by default which are the parameters. So it shows by default all the vertices, labels, segments, lines, polygons, conic vectors. But we can uh, change these parameters if it is true. So it will show then this element if and only if they are not hidden on the GeoGebra file. If we put option false, it will just uh, not show them. And if we chose all, it will show even the one who are supposed to be hidden on the Georgia file. 